Happy Sentinels Tuesday, everybody, and Happy New Year, because I don't think I said it last week. I'm actually recording in the new year now, so that helps. As usual, I'm just kind of following along with the letters page and throwing shit at the wall. Today, our actual deck is the Spanish Main, created by Flat on His Face. It's one of those really old environment decks, but it's thematic because we've got a variant of La Capitan called Paradoxical Pirate, and our team is Gundhar, coming back to try and redeem himself. La Comodora, the new wasteland and Ronin Cricket, and Chrono Range the Living Weapon, created by Mastilitane. We'll see what happens. <laughs> this is going to be weird. So at the start of the game, she gets a crew member, and we put La Paradoja Magnifica in the trash. So our crew is the Beast. Start of the villain turn, if there are no villain targets other than La Capitan in play, play the top card of the villain deck. When a hero card is destroyed by a villain card, place it under La Capitan, so that's still the same thing. She's still stealing our stuff. Now she flips at the end of turn if there are four cards under her, or if she played Raiding Party this turn. That's an interesting change. Otherwise, she deals a bunch of damage, interestingly enough. So, let's see. He doesn't deal any damage on the first turn. Here we go. Walk the plank. She's gonna hit La Comodora and stop her from using powers. She's not gonna flip, so she hits the highest for three, and then she hits the highest for two. So that's three to Cricket and two to Guntar. And we're gonna want to get rid of Lepe East for all that it's going to make her play another thing. So I'll start with Herbs, Roots, and Seeds. Add seven to it, drain two so I can play a card. I will play Sickening Agent. Power, you may drain any amount of green. You may drain up to two yellow. Reveal the top X cards of the deck where X is twice the number of green drained. Until the start of your next turn, reduce damage dealt by Z targets by Y, where Y is the number of green revealed and Z is the number of yellow drained. So I'm going to get one target. I want to have at least one, so I'm going to drain two. Reveal the top four cards of my deck. Yellow, red, green, there's one, and yellow. Okay, so I only revealed one green, but I can reduce damage dealt by one target by one. That'll be La Capitan. Draw a card. He actually did something. Holy crap. All right, she can't use powers, so I think we'll just go ahead and weigh anchor. Get a cannon portal. Fantastic. Flintlock and cutlass. Oh, great. She's going to hit Lippy East for four. Skip her power, draws a card, cannon portal takes him out. He would make our setup a bad thing, so we'll just not have him and deal with getting an extra card play. Cricket's gonna start with a sonic amplifier because why wouldn't she? Her new power is hide and seek. Increase damage dealt by Cricket during your next turn by one. Cricket may deal a target one sonic damage, so she'll hit the Capitan for one, throw a card under her amplifier, and draw a card. I'm gonna grab a plus one and put it on her next turn. It's a very weird power to have to deal with. Chrono Ranger starts with Jim's hat into the compounded bow. His power is increased next damage dealt by Chrono Ranger by two. You may take a bounty in play and reassign it. I assume that means move it next to a different target, but he's just going to go ahead and hit her for one and one and draw a card. That's not going to be helpful at all, what am I saying? We start with a Spanish gunboat. I really have no idea how this is going to go. Reduce damage dealt to this card by one. In the environment turn, this deals the three non-ship, non-crew targets with the highest HP, four projectile damage each. Oh, interesting. So it's actually got synergy with La Capitan's deck. Destroy an ongoing card belonging to each hero that takes damage this way. Ooh, hmm. Okay, none of them have ongoing, so it doesn't matter who takes it. Capitan, La Comodora, and probably Cricket. Take four each. Okay, round one. So, start of her turn, she gets to play a card. Motley Crew, which brings out Lepe East and plays the top card of the deck. All together now, god damn it. One to Guntar. Lepe East hits the highest four, five. Ow. Ugh, Guntar will take that. And then we shuffle her trash into her deck. Well, that was bad. <laughs> now she plays a card. Mabel, go figure. End of turn, she hits the highest for two and then the highest for one. That's all going to Chrono Ranger. That's fine. Thank you, Guntar. Play a card. Siege Breaker. Okay, good. He's somebody we can keep out. So we'll try and kill the others. Ugh. Mabel destroys hero ongoing or equipment card. We'll drop the cannon portal for all that it would be useful. Okay. Maximum power. Reveal five cards on the top of your deck. Select a color. Add X of that color to one jar where X is the number of cards revealed of that color. Discard the revealed cards. You may play a card. Let's see. Yellow, yellow, red, red, green. Really? I just get one green out of all that. Well, I can play a card. Revitalation. Drain any number of green. That'll be three. Guntar regains that many HP. And then I think we'll use his power. Draw two cards. Reveal a card from your hand. You may add two of the revealed cards. Color to one jar. Just discard the revealed card. I don't think I'll reveal a card. Draw. Accordant helm because that's important. He's got a thing that'll give him some jars so you can find that. Draw a card. Okay, we actually need to deal some damage here. <laughs> Return pulse. Deals three non-hero targets, one sonic damage each. That's three cards under 
the amplifier, and three cards drawn. Oh, right, and she's got the plus one, so that was actually two damage. Fantastic. She is just going to blow her sonic amplifier and take out Mabel. Draw a card. Displaced armory is probably a good idea. Get rid of that stupid boat. Temporal grenade. Shuffle. Ping. The paste. And then, yeah, temporal grenade. Three targets. Drop the gunboat. And drop that. Oh, god damn it. I need some good cards to play. All right. Spanish main. Treasure island. This card knows play revealed cards on the top of the environment deck until two pirates are revealed. Put them into play. Discard the rest. Increase damage dealt by pirates by two. That sounds bad. Start the environment turn. Each player may put an equipment card from their trash into play, and then if no pirates are in play, destroy this card. That could be interesting. So we get one leg powder keg and Poncio the Pincher. And in the environment turn, this card deals all non pirate targets four fire damage each. Oof. Well, the good news is that kills Lepe East. That's about the only good news. Poncio says at the end of the environment turn, this card deals the hero with the most equipment in play two melee damage and destroys. X of that hero's equipment cards are X of the amount of damage dealt this way. Really? It's either Guntar or Chrono Ranger. Chrono Ranger kind of needs his stuff. So he's taking four melee damage oh, and losing all of his crap. All right, start of her turn, shuffle the trash into the deck. And she plays. Raiding party. Okay, so she's going to flip this turn. Three crew cards. Battle forged. They still go after the environment. Not that that's necessarily a good thing. And Mabel and the Paiste. He just won't die. We're going to destroy Jim's hat because I don't have anything to play with it. All right, end of turn, she flips to man the guns. If Para Doha Magnifica is not in place, search the villain deck and trash for it and put it into play, shuffle the villain trash into the villain deck. And as the crew of La Paga Doha Magnifica man her cannons, skip any end of villain turn effects on villain cards. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's very nice. Okay. For every three damage dealt to La Para Doha, return a card under La Capitan to the appropriate trash. Okay, so we're beating up on our ship now. End of each hero turn. Return one card under La Capitan to the appropriate trash. If a card is returned this way, she deals the highest HP target associated with that deck for projectile damage. I assume it's the deck that is returned. Start of the villain turn, the ship sails back into the seas of time. Move it to the villain trash and flip La Capitan. Okay, cool. That's her turn. End of Guntar's turn, she will start broadsiding us. Collapsible Laboratory. Cards at the top of your deck until two jars are revealed. Shuffle the other revealed cards in your deck. You may put one of those jars into play. If you do, drain one, otherwise put them in your hand. So I get a Powders, Dust, and Minerals, and a Sav Sera and Oils. Okay, I'm putting that into play. It starts with four, because yellow is important. All right, and then we'll do his base power, draw two cards. I do have some yellow. I'm going to reveal that, discard it, and add two yellow to that jar draw a card. All right, La Commodora draws two cards. All right, at the end of her turn, she hits Chrono Ranger for four damage. I think at this point we need to deal with the crew. All right, Cannon Portal, shuffle Chrono Ranger's deck, put the hat on top, and hit Mabel for three, and then that's returned to her trash, and she takes four damage. All right, and for Sonic Collapse, we need to destroy an environment card, so we get rid of that plus two damage, because cripes, Destroyed environment cards, deal the target to sonic damage. And that's a card under her thing. And then she'll use her base power, drop Mabel. That's another card, and draw. Chrono Ranger has nothing to do. He's gonna hit Lepe East for two. Let's draw a card. That's better. Frick. Duelist, crew. See, that's bad, because that's synergized with La Capitan. I'm doing precisely the wrong thing with this deck. Okay, all non-pirate targets take two fire damage. Poncio. I need to get rid of him. I should have dropped him instead. Fuck. All right, yeah, he hits the hero with the most equipment in play for two damage and destroys two equipment. That's a really bad card. I'm sorry. Duelist. The end of the environment turn, this card deals the non-ship, non-crew target with the second highest HP, two projectile damage. First time each target deals damage to this card each turn, this card deals that target three melee damage. Okay. Non-ship, non-crew. So he's going to hit Cricket for two. Could be worse. All right. Lapardoha goes to the villain trash and she flips and Lippe East hits Guntar for three. I guess that could be worse. Chip, ah, uh, exactly what we needed. All right, she hits the highest for three, that's Cricket. Highest for two, that's Chrono Ranger. Siege Breaker hits Cricket and La Comodora. We're gonna die. Battle Forged is still doing his thing, so he kills the duelist and plays Walk the Plank. That's gonna hit Guntar. And then Chip hits Chrono Ranger for two. This is about our last turn, I think. I'm gonna play Powders, Dust, and Minerals. Oh, and I can drain two to play a card. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I'll play Alchemical Fire. Drain a number of red. Reveal X cards on the top of your deck, where X is twice number of red drained plus two. Guntar deals two fire damage each to Y targets, where Y is the number of red revealed plus one. Discard the revealed cards. I can go up to six, so let's drain two. So I reveal four, five, six cards. I got three. 
So four targets, two fire damage each. And draw a card. He did something finally. Oh, damn it. Flintlock and Cutlass. Take out Le Paiste. And hit. Oh, actually, let's take out this pirate. He's kind of bad news. We're going to put that Infrasonic Collapse back into Cricket's deck and draw a card. Here's an idea Sound Masking. All targets are immune to damage. Let's just do that. Put up her plus one, use her power again, keep it up for next round. Sudden Contract. By any means. Deal no damage. Oh, also, I shuffled the hat into my deck. We'll increase his next damage by two and draw a card. Okay, Silvertooth Soto. Alright, that guy deals no damage, this card deals the non-pirate damage with the second lowest HP, 3 projectile damage, and the non-pirate target with the lowest HP, 2 melee damage. Yaus. Alright, start of turn, ship deals no damage. Altogether now, Cripes, she deals no damage. Though this came with its own deck, I have a feeling none of the cards have actually been changed. Not sure. Alright, she deals no damage, it deals no damage, deals no damage, deals no damage, deals no damage, play a card. Altogether now, fine. Okay, not dealing any damage right now. He's going to play Firewall Challenge. Guntar is immune to fire damage. Increase fire damage dealt by Guntar by one. Let's grab some tokens and do that. And then he will draw two cards. Kind of don't want to discard any of those, so just draw a card. Way Anchor. Take time. Okay, let's destroy an environment card. Because that guy's a pain in the ass. And she draws a card. Oh, finally. Actually, I'm going to put the Displaced Armory back into Chrono Ranger's deck and draw a card. All right, Sound Masking goes away. Question is, do we want to do that again? Because I've got another one. Return Pulse. Three targets. Three cards under this. Draw three cards. And then, oh, let's see. She's got five things under her Sonic Amplifier. Let's go ahead and do six Sonic damage to Battleforged and get rid of him because he bad. Discard all of those. Put another one under it. Draw a card. And that goes away. Okay. Displaced Armory. Hat. Why? Because I have nothing better to do. He'll do three projectile damage to the boat. Fuck it, I'm playing Hunter and Hunted. Gives him plus one, plus one. Four, five, six damage to her. Ouch. All right, Spanish Galleon. That sounds bad. Okay, Silvertooth Soto. Non-pirate target with the second lowest HP, three projectile damage. That's... Okay, he's the lowest. So, actually, no, Guntar is also the lowest. So he'll hit Siege Breaker for two, and then he hits the lowest for two melee damage, which is also Siege Breaker. Go figure. Reduce damage dealt to this card by one. Increase damage dealt by all ships and crew by one. Oh, that's bad. Stir the environment, turn and shuffle the environment trash from the deck, and reveal the next crew, put it into play, discard the rest. Okay, that needs to go. Start of her turn, Chip hits the highest for three. That's La Commodora. Shuffle the trash into the deck. Motley crew, good, nothing happens. Play the top card. Plunder, destroy three hero ongoing and equipment cards. Okay, 100 Hunt is going to be one of those. Thanks. Firewall challenge, because we don't really need that. And I guess his hat again, because... I just, I can't get any cards for Chrono Ranger that are useful. Each villain target regains 2 HP. Alright, she hits the highest for 3, that's Cricket. And then she hits Chrono Ranger for 2, it's actually 2. Siege Breaker hits the 2 highest for 3 each, that's Guntar, unfortunately. And Chrono Ranger, Chip hits the highest for 3, that's La Commodora. Play a card. Walk the Plank, she hits Cricket. This has just been a very, very rough game. Ah, herbs, roots, and seeds. Drain two so I can play alchemical fire. I'm gonna drain three out of that, which destroys the jar. Reveal the top eight cards of my deck. I got five red. There are six targets in play. Yeah, I'm gonna hit everybody but Siege Breaker. I wish it was a little bit more than two damage, but whatever. Draw two cards. Oh, wow. Gone through his deck already. Discard a green for two of that and draw a card. Ugh, Harness Anomaly. Putting a Displaced Armory in Chrono Ranger's deck, shuffling it, and playing the top card of his deck. Bounty Board. That wasn't helpful. <sighs> Ping that for one. Draw a card or play a card. Play Combat Timing. That might help. And then we shuffle her deck and put that Harness Anomaly underneath the top card, which gets drawn. All right, Swarming Frequency and draw a card. Chrono Ranger has nothing to play. It's Le Capitan for four. Draw a card. Good Seizure. That's got an end of turn effect. Okay, Soto. It's the second lowest, which is Guntar. And kills him. Oh, right. Start of turn. I should have shuffled this and revealed a crew. It's the Duelist again. Okay, now he hits the non-pirate target with the lowest for two melee damage. He's going to kill somebody. It's going to be Chrono Ranger, because he just hasn't been able to do anything all game. All right, end of the environment turn, reveal the top card of each hero deck, put them under this card. Oh, interesting. Start of the environment turn, if no ships are in play, destroy this card. When this card is destroyed, move all cards under it to the appropriate trash. That sucks. He hits the non-ship, non-crew target with the second highest HP for two projectile damage. That's Laparadoha, because it is not a ship. All right, so 
All damage dealt by villain targets is redirected to the environment target with the highest HP. Shuffle or trash into her deck. Chip hits the highest for three, reduced to two. Temporal Thief. It feels very similar. She deals no damage. End of turn, she hits the boat for two and one. Siege Breaker hits it for three and three. Chip hits it for two and play the top card of her deck. Reading Party. Oh, jeez. Three crew cards. The Beast. Battle Forged. And it's gotta be Mabel. I don't think anybody's left. Yep. There she is. Destroy here ongoing equipment card. It's gonna have to be combat timing. Peace does nothing. Interestingly, Battle Forged, his damage is redirected to the highest instead of hitting the lowest. He still kills the duelist playing a card. Altogether now, she takes out, oh, let's say, Soto. Lepardo is not in the trash. And then we destroy a card and it will be Swarming Frequency. Kept us alive for a round. Okay. Use a power draw card. Immune to type, damage type of your choice till the start of your next turn. Projectile would be very handy with that. That being said, I think I would rather shoot. I don't have any good powers. Actually, no. I'm going to use Cricket's power. She'll hit Mabel for one. Get a card. Increase her damage next turn. Okay. Oh, the best I can do is Future Tech Deck Gun. Up to five targets, one irreducible damage each. Draw a card. Okay, it is time to chirp. Three cards. Hit up to four targets for four sonic damage each. Take out Mabel. Oh, I'm going to drop the ship because that will get rid of that other card. And that's four cards under her amplifier. Oh yeah, and that was five damage, wasn't it? What can I do with seven damage? I could kill Chip, put a dent in a couple of things. I guess I'll just kill Chip. It's not going to matter. Discard those, put one under it, draw a card, and your thing wears off. Here, let me play a card now. Return Pulse, because I can drop the boat and Lepe East. And I guess I'll ping him. Three cards under her thing, and three cards in her hand. We've gone through Cricket's deck now. All right, start the environment turn. No ships are in play. Destroy that card, and move these to the trash. Which you don't have to say, that's how they normally work. It would have been much nicer if we could get them in our hand or something. That's why I didn't get the Harness Anomaly. It was stolen by that card. God damn it. Artilleryman. Then the environment turns to card deals the non-ship non-crew target with the lowest HP, three projectile damage. Goodbye, La Comodora. <laughs> I made a real bad decision. Cricket's gonna die, it, it doesn't matter. Destroys the pirate target with the lowest HP. Well, that would be nice if there was going to be another round. Okay, start of turn. Maria Lena's Revenge, just what we didn't need. And she kills Cricket. And that's game. Right, so, Spanish Main, what have we learned? Don't fight La Capitan there. <laughs> it's thematic, but it's a really bad idea. This La Capitan, honestly, pretty interesting. The flip side is a lot more interesting than just they all heal. That being said, I couldn't do anything about it, mostly because Chrono Ranger had a crappy game. This Cricket, actually good power. I liked switching back and forth between that and Sonic Amplifier. Guntar, I think I have to come to the conclusion that he's not a very good hero. I mean, he can do a lot of stuff, and it's interesting playing him and figuring out his puzzle, but a lot of what you do is just discard cards off your deck and put tokens on cards in your play area to no real effect. He hasn't really significantly contributed to any of the games that I've shown him in, so I may take him out of my rotation. That being said, let's take a look at the Spanish main real quick, because we didn't see half this deck. Armada. When this card is play, reveal the top H cards in the environment deck, put all revealed ships and crew into play, discard the other revealed cards, play the top card in the environment deck. In the environment, turn destroy this card. Okay, so that just gets a bunch of stuff out. Spanish Cruiser. Reduce damage. The start of the environment turn, this card deals the non-ship, non-crew target with the second lowest HP, three projectile damage. And that's another unfortunate thing about this, is it does a lot of hitting the lowest. And in the environment turn, play the top card of the environment deck. Eve. Fort El Dorado. Increase all damage by one. Reduce damage dealt to ships and crew by one. At the end of the environment turn, each player may discard a card and draw a card. International Waters. At the end of the environment turn, play the top card of the villain deck. Start of the environment turn, if there are any ships in play, destroy this card. That's terrible. Walk the Plank. That sounds familiar. When this card is played, the villain with the highest HP deals the hero character with the highest HP three projectile damage. That hero cannot use powers until the start of the environment turn. Hmm. Very familiar. Blockade. Each turn, if a player plays a hero card during their play phase, they may not use a power during the power phase. Start the environment turn if no ships are in play, destroy this card. Okay, that's at least interesting, and that's actually the whole thing. So yeah, kind of a rough environment. I wouldn't call it my favorite, to be sure. That's the Spanish main. I think you can find it on Cassandra's DLC, I'm not sure. Well, anyway, that's it for this one. As always, Tabletop Simulator, the Reaver Sentinels and Cauldron DLC, Adelph of Ages Archives, and Cassandra's updated board art DLC are not licensed greatly against products. Please support the official release and flip.